As we move from the centralized mode of government to the devolved system, the president took time to appreciate the work done by parliamentarians in passing laws that provide the necessary framework of the new way of governance. Among them, the Public Finance Management Act, County Government Act, and the Transition to Devolved Government Act. He further added that the devolved system will bring government closer to people and involve Wananchi in decision-making in all levels of governance. He thanked the Prime Minister for his determination to see that the government held together the Speaker for his non-partisan decisions, among others. I thank the Right Honourable Prime Minister, Raila Odinga, for his dedication and commitment. Despite the challenges we faced in the last five years, we were able to stay focused on the goal of transforming the social, economic, and political spheres of Kenya. I commend the, vo the Vice President, Kalonzo Msioka, for his stewardship as leader of government business. I also thank the two Deputy Prime Ministers Uhuru Kenyatta and Musalia Mudavadi, and all members of parliament for their hard work. Moreover, I commend this House for supporting the work of the Grand Coalition Government through passing most legislation presented by the Executive. According to Article 132.2 of the Constitution, the President can address a special sitting of Parliament once every year and may also address the National Assembly at any other time. He has addressed the nation during the official opening of House sessions in line with the Constitution. The President has been known to have a unique, fresh sense of humor and as such that could not be missed in today's speech. For the first time in nearly 50 years, I will not only be I will not be on any election ballot paper. <laughs> then came the accolades. The young, the old, honorable members of different characters all lined up to praise the president on his service to the nation, with some even urging whoever will take the mantle to emulate him. But I just want to add two things which His Excellency was too humble to mention in his last years as a president of this country. One, Mr. Speaker, it is not easy to preside over a transition from an authoritarian rule to a democratic one. In many countries, Mr. Speaker, it has always been a very turbulent period. But Mr. Speaker, we must thank His Excellency for having presided over this transition and made it possible for us now to build a democratic society. And although I have never had occasion to vote for His Excellency. I must say that I appreciate the exemplary performance that he has shown. I remember that when he felt greatly offended, as Honorable Damaso Tien has tried to point out, he actually went the extra mile and said, because there was that, those days, the uh, rigging was becoming the order of the day, and President Kibaki actually was quoted saying, even rigging requires some intelligence. <laughs> I recall Your Excellency, as uh, leader of the opposition, one time you came, we all came to this house, and the chanting was, no reform, no budget. Now see how far you have brought this country, because you're on to solid reform, because of our new constitution and the future holds bright. Your Excellency, in Africa, leaders leave office when they are least popular. If today an opinion poll, a genuine opinion poll was carried out, I think Your Excellency will be scoring over 90%. Those who were in this house, when the president was an active member of the house in the debates, that uh, most of the time you'd find that when the president was speaking, the house would be in total silence. Uh, because uh, I remember uh, me as a, a new member in this house, 
And I hope that is not in that book because it not put me in very good light. And uh, I stood up uh, on a point of order and the president stood up and said, the honorable member who has stood on a point of order was obviously not listening uh, to what we are saying. And if he was listening, he probably would not have understood uh, what we are talking about. <laughs> so I was, I, was, I, was, I was completely flawed. And, and indeed, when I stood on that point of order, it, it was not for to contribute for in the debate, it was for purposes of mischief.